I was so dumb, but I hopped on a plane, almost drove right back to the 541. Shitty you turned on the freeway, you turned me from a fiend to a way to you find. Can wait in the sun for a little, but it's been real gray, and tonight it's a nice C1. Can wait in the cold for a while, if the reasons are plenty, but right now I'm gonna see America, you're not so dumb, but I hopped on a plane, almost drove right back to the freeway. Is there something happening right now? Okay, so I'm just gonna say this. I don't get it. I, yes, clearly. We we know you don't watch sports. I don't watch the news. I don't watch sports. Yeah, what, what are we talking about? Clearly you don't watch news because we're not going back has been a DNC theme for four straight days. You want to know what I feel like when you do this? <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like that infamous Larry King, Jerry Seinfeld <laughs> interview where he's like, you think I'm canceled? You think they can't? Number one show in America, Larry. <laughs> 52 million viewers for the finale. Do you know who I am? I know who you are, Jerry. Why are you so mad? Do you? Do you? I'm Seinfeld. <laughs> Calm down, Jerry. Don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? <laughs> Canceled? Don't you know what podcast I host? Don't you know <laughs> who I am? <laughs> Oh, man. By the way, so you, uh, you wanna, you we, have you news? heard of the hot Tua girl yet? Has that <laughs> filtered you at this Oh, is point? she the uh, – that's something I did see in sports. Is she that person who, like, threw out the first pitch? Like, yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the Mets game. I am a yeah. big, like, first pitch guy, but that's really about it. So that's really all I pay attention to. Yeah. There's a guy from CSI Miami threw out a first pitch the other day. Yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Wow. Ah, wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. Good show. Lovely By the show. way, Sports Sports Brewery Podcast, the podcast that introduced the idea of podcasts to Eugene Radio Superstar Storm Kennedy. <laughs> she did What's not... a podcast? What's a podcast? Well, Storm, let me tell you. <laughs> That's pretty much how it works. It's in your computer <laughs> or your phone. Or maybe bl- was Bluetooth <laughs> On a Bluetooth thing in your car. I don't know. This was a long time ago, to be fair. It was. To be fair. It's just a seminal moment. Yeah. What's a podcast? Well, Storm. Speaking of phones. I I, I can't tell you because I'm lost in your beautiful eyes. Right. Yeah. Your ferocious Bob. Melodic tones. Um. Speaking of phones, I could have answered that to Dennis Nakata. Yeah, actually, I don't know that Dennis would have known either. <laughs> even, even though he's a golf coach, he's around like kids all the time. Um, Speak, uh, yeah, go before ahead. you go ahead. get on to what you're going on, no, go ahead. Speaking of old Lane County, Eugene, Oregon, Willamette Valley voices, yeah, I was flipping around the AM dial today because. It was just like a blip, like the radio in my car wasn't working on FM. And I was like, what the hell? But AM came back. But before before I got back to the AM first dial all, or the first FM First of all, first of all, Ski, we know this is bullshit, right? Like he's he listens to 590 KUGN like on the reg. He's a no. savage guy. He's a I Hannity always, guy. He's savage. always been a savage name. I, yeah. I found out yeah. actually like a week ago. Savage hasn't been on the air in years. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, like, like, is he yeah. is he alive? I, yeah, I think he was still alive. But yeah, he he he's been off for a while. How's that? Uh, but it was Savage. it was nineteen uh, fifties or forties and fifties AM radio, and Tim Chewy was doing the weather yeah. updates. Yeah. Do you guys remember Tim Chewy? Better believe it. Yep. I was like. I heard him doing it. And I was like, "Well, I gotta hear what this music is." I think he he re- like, he recently retired, right? I, I honestly I haven't watched local like. I think it was I think it was more recent than you'd think. Like, oh, I'm sure because he's been around. He, sure. he had been around for like seventy years or something like that. Yeah, but yeah, it was like, "Oh, I'm Tim Chewy, and here we are. Let me take you to the hop, hop." Mm-hmm. Hop. And then some sock hop songs. I was like, "Oh my god, That's AM awesome. radio That's is awesome. amazing! I love this medium." I mean, That's fantastic. Why would you not? You got that, and then you have like Spanish, like religious channel. Oh and, yeah! Oh, you got everything goodness. you could ask for. 
Yeah. I, I got to be honest. I sometimes throw on the Spanish music channel, like the the FM one. Got to be honest. It's uh you, some of that do, do you do you abla? Some of that shit goes kind of hard. No, I don't know what they're saying, but oh, I just yeah. I do sometimes, and I just roll my I just roll my shoulders. Yeah. Sometimes throw a throw a throw a hand on my my stomach and just kind of like the LeBron Mountain Dew commercial. You know it, man. Pull up to yeah. a, pull up to a red light, roll the window down, and turn it up a little bit. And bump that shit. Yeah. Um. Gotta let them but know. I guess. I guess again, speaking of local radio, have you guys heard the news of two? foundational deaths that have like shaken the Eugene Springfield University of Oregon athletics world to its core. Did you hear about this? Has has, has anybody seen this? So the other this Steve, one. the other Steve, yeah. the other Steve who called into 90 year old radio show, yep. the other Steve who would call in and talk about, he Horse racing, racing mm -hmm. and boxing and yeah. wax poetic about Joe DiMaggio. Because yeah. holy shit, that guy was old. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can tell when you're old. You tell you're old when those are the other sports that you're knowledgeable about. Because that's horse racing was, and boxing. Oh yeah, my god, because those were the kings back in the fifties. Absolutely, and like, that's why I love listening to him. I didn't give oh. a shit what he talked about. He would ramble on forever, but it was like, oh. Back in 1947 at Saratoga. I am all in. When you got <laughs> stories of Secretariat in like Seattle Slough, it's like, Tell all me right. about Pimlico. Yeah. Tell me about yeah. Pimlico. He would call in whenever there'd be like horse racing being talked about and movies too. Because he would love, he would call in and talk about movies all the time. I, I you know, I got to be honest, like when, so I like, I was a producer obviously for Steve's show and he would have, the other Steve on as a guest, like to talk about horse racing. So whenever, like he knew, well, when, like, the he was, and stuff he was, was like, like, he was like the, the other guy in the area who knew about horse racing. So both Steves are the only two who knew a whole bunch about it. And so he's like, fuck it. He's like, why don't you just come on the show and we'll talk about it. Screw it. Uh, did did yeah. they, did they actually talk about like who they liked to win? Like, Gambling prices, yes. yes. Right. Oh, they I, but, had their tickets. They had oh, everything. It was great. Oh, you know, it's like oh, I'm boxing the three and the six. You know. Yes, yes. yes it was that's... such a, it was such a time warp. Yeah. Whenever he would call in twice a year for horse racing on big, you know, Kentucky Belmont Derby and I, for, and I think Belmont, and it was Cup, maybe yeah. electric because oh, it was just a different time. Just a different time, or the the, the preakness, I think Steve called it, or something, right? It's like, I'm preakness I, is what it's, it's preakness. Yes. He swears it's the preakness because he's spelled, from there. It's literally spelled yeah. preakness. Like, what are you it's talking about? It's the preakness. Everybody calls it. I've that. never heard anyone else say the preakness. Yeah, Jeez. and that thing drives me insane. Yes, it does. Me too. Every single time, I would, I would. Call I went to preakness middle school or whatever. I remember Rogers and I calling him out on it. Every single time you yeah. say it, like why? Why are you saying it that way? That's that's not well, that's not how you say it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, well, that's not the word. And, and what's weird is he 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 won't just admit that it's like no. an accent thing. Yeah, like it's a regional like, thing, clearly, right? Yeah, just be like ah, it's like how everyone in the world says Mario, and New Jersey say and Mario. New York says Mario. Yeah, like or or, or well, Argon. Yeah, yeah, man. Florida. I, Florida. Funny one I got. Funny one I got from my family in Cleveland is we call it. You know, we see the the Cuyahoga River, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. They call it the Cuyahoga. Cuyahoga. Did you know that the Willamette River is actually supposed to be pronounced Willamette? Willamette. Yes. It actually I've seen is. that sign. It actually yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. My kid taught me that. Middle school. Randy Newman. You know, you know these woke middle schools. You know, just yeah. Not in, not in my Willamette River. Tell you that much. I'll throw all these kids in that Willamette River. So uh, Randy yeah, so, Newman called it the Cuyahoga, though, right? The yeah, Cuyahoga, Cuyahoga River. Yeah. Cuyahoga. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't yeah. work. You, yeah. You're trying to tell me Randy Newman's a liar? Yes. Get fucked. <laughs> Randy Newman has a full song about making fun of little people. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I, 
I don't know why we had to bring that up, but yeah. well, uh-huh. also he loves you LA. Yeah, because you can't. Yeah. I, I don't trust Randy. I love Randy doing, but I don't trust him. Talk about bi coastal Cleveland and Los like Angeles. That, I feel like that is, is that like a Family Guy skit, or is that a real thing where he has a song about making fun of little people? No, he's short people got big problems. It, it's called short people. Yeah, he's a short person, right? He was a short guy. He was a short king. Short king. Yeah. No, the the, the Family Guy one was he's just like yeah, describing what like eaters do. Yeah. Picking up an apple, <laughs> rubbing it once, <laughs> twice, <a> bite, <laughs> chewing on it. <laughs> there is nothing better than rubbing that apple, yeah. giving it Ooh. a nice little toss, nice shine. rubbing that other side. You know it. So, so yes, RIP the other Steve. Um, oh, big RIP. It's, it's yeah. always tough to lose a uh, degenerate. Totally. And by the way, nice uh, by Booble in the chat. It has shaken ears to its core. Love that. Eugene area radio stations. Huh? Yep. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I like that. All right. Was there, was there another one? Was yeah. A- yes. It just came out tonight. Uh, Jerry Thompson. Yeah. The editor and director and owner of Ducks Illustrated. Yeah. If you, which if you've ever been at a Dairy Mart, yeah. a Buy Mart, a Jerry's anywhere in your life, you've seen him. He passed away this weekend after a long Battle with cancer. Yeah. Jerry, yeah. Fuck Jerry can- Thompson. Fuck cancer, first of all. Yeah, cancer's bad. That guy was uh, a hustler, you know? Like, yeah. he, he, like, he's really one of the first guys, like, in this area. You know, you, you see it a lot now with people, like, creating websites and sort of just starting their own thing and turning it into a thing. He's really one of the first guys to do that, you know? Because he, like there, he created Ducks Illustrated. I think it used to be something else before Ducks Illustrated. He used to call it something else, but literally, he like he design it himself. He like print it himself. He do all the interviews himself. Take the pictures himself. It was like his own thing, and he got it on shelves like for free. Like you just you go into Dairy Mart and you just can grab one. Like that's awesome. And to turn that into like a business for himself, like where he could sell advertising and do all that stuff, like genius, like fucking genius. Like, you know, like say, say what you will about like how like how he was on the radio for one, like monotone guy, like, you know, not a radio dude. But fucking a man, that guy put out content like regularly and turned like ducks illustrated is like a local like empire sort of it's weird man it's it's gonna be weird not having those like i i don't know if somebody's gonna like take over the mantle for that but it's gonna be weird like not seeing those when you go into a jerry's you know but yeah big big ups like jerry thompson too man didn't he do the um i feel like he used to do the like the high school things too like right where Remember, I think he did. Remember, I believe, I believe yeah. you're right. He would do like those. Yeah. He'd go out to each high school. He'd like interview players and like put together these like video packages for like the local high schools. And, and you know, they some of that stuff would be on the news sometimes. He'd like sell it to them to, to air. But then like you could get these like VHSs of all the local teams. And it was it was rad. Like I remember he, I remember he did that at South. And I was like, oh. This is like in, he's like talking to me about the team. That's weird. Um, no idea. Uh, he, he, probably, yeah. he probably could have skipped south. Yeah. Just yeah. Well, no, you guys uh, looking this year. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. That was Did when he from last year. No. Oh. Not really. That was when Bless was hired, and he got all those really good assistant coaches for that one year, like <laughs> who who were not nice people <laughs> for the most part. But uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. R.I.P. Both of them. So, yeah, like the end of end of an era, kind of. You know. Also, before we Boobble, put a, Boobble put says, a bow on, Boobble says, "Be honest." Braga was the ghostwriter of Ma- Mallard Musings. Mallard Musings. <laughs> that was t- that was Tannen's thing at the end. That right? was Tannen. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, closing the loop on local Oregon Eugene radio stuff. Whatever. I heard today there's a new show called Danny and oh my god 
What's the sports idol's name? Danny and Justin. Justin. I'm not okay. I'm not saying it's a sports idol, but Fox Sports Eugene is teasing Danny and Justin now as a new local show. A local show. Huh. Yeah, local show. I don't know who that could be. The only thing I think of is Justin Myers and yeah. Danny Morang. Danny Morang. There's no way Danny, Myers Danny would Google? come back here. There's no Myers. way. Well, no, but I mean, yeah. Kinzano doesn't. Uh, that's true. Too, that's so. true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. So we'd have Myers and Tannen back. I have no idea. I, yeah. I was just like, no, oh, they're teasing. It could just be yeah. someone named <laughs> Dustin and Justy and Justin or whatever who live, you know, in oh. Danebo area. I don't know. Dusty, wasn't the guy with like Souk in them? Dusty? Dusty Hera? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Dusty Hera. Yeah. yeah. You know, as we've established, guys, you can buy our podcast for like a case of beer a month. <laughs> <laughs> Ninkasi used to do it. Like, it, did. It's, it's that it's more easy. than just a case. Yeah, it's it more than more just a case. case. It's 22s, too. Yeah, it's 22s. I mean, they wow. were like tr- like double slayers and yeah, you know, tricera hops up the ass. Like, yeah. And no M's here anymore. Like, how? Wh- what are we going to get press passes to now? <laughs> No, nobody's gonna invite us to anything. Drip, drifters, drifters games. Yeah, I saw their. <laughs> I like. I realized what their stadium was for the first time this week. Like, I, I, had, it's that like humongous middle school or whatever that's out there with Hamlin. like. The, is it Hamlin? Hamlin? Yeah. Okay, yeah, with the biggest, yeah. the biggest sports facility ever. It looks like a Texas high school. It's weird, but I had no idea that's where they played until recently. So. Yeah. Like their sign says, it's your new community team. Uh huh. Just throwing all the shade at Eugene. It's like right down the yeah, street. Go to the yeah. Right down the street. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's uh. Let's do the official podcast thing. Uh. Welcome to Sports Brewery. I'm Alex Ski King. Uh. Discord. Sports Brewery is our Discord. Get in there. It's a good time. You can give us movie suggestions, list suggestions, all that good stuff. Uh, Twitch.tv slash abrog87 if you want to watch us live. You're listening to us on a podcast, but you can watch us. Come on live. Twitch.tv slash abrawg87. Uh, hit follow on that, and it'll let you know when we go live, and you just click a link and find it. Uh, also, I post those streams on YouTube afterwards. I also post our lists on there, so if you want to just watch those. Uh, movie this Sunday, we do a movie podcast. Uh, comes out every Sunday is Jaws. It's my movie. Mm-hmm. I'd never, I, I'd never seen Jaws before. It's doesn't crazy, watch right? sports. Doesn't look crazy. at yeah. watch news. Doesn't watch like watch generational movies. It's like, gen- like absolute classics. Listen, yeah. I think I have an excuse with that one in particular. Like, yeah, you yeah. play Tamagotchi. I got it. Yeah, <laughs> Tamagotchi. That's it. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Um yeah, so it's on uh Max. So watch it. Listen to us talk about it on Sunday. What else? Is there something else I should talk about? Threads. No, I, We're on threads. I just hope this leads us into watching all the Jaws movies because Jaws three is an absolute yeah. classic. You mean, it's on there too. You mean Jaws three D? <laughs> is that the one you're talking about? It's the one there at SeaWorld. It's uh definitely not Jaws three abs- because it was made in like is the it early four? 80s. Okay. Yeah, it's four? Be four. So there's yeah, an absolute there's, banger. There's one, two, three, and then Jaws Revenge, I think, is like the fourth one. Is that it? Is there are there more? Are there more than four? I think I think there's only four, right? Okay. Okay. They were all like actually made around the same time. So Yeah, they yeah. knocked him out within three years of predecessor company. And guess what? Spielberg did not direct all of them. Did you need to hear no, that? No, no. Did you need me to tell you that? Yeah. All right. That's why that's why one of them is famous. <laughs> I don't know. I'm never I'm never gonna watch the other ones, so forget it. You should. I, I Jaws, says. Jaws okay. Three, Jaws All right. Well, Jaws Revenge. Well, maybe I'll do that. Cool like, Jaws came out in 1995. Like you did the Expendables, and then I'll do all the Jaws movies. Sound okay? All right. The plays. Eh? Booble, Booble says we should watch Sharknado. <laughs> I mean, it's the listener movie next Brother. week, so we could, but it's Jaws 3. I think Jaws, you know 3 is, yeah. Jaws 3 is SeaWorld. Yeah. 
think you go into the Meg after Jaws if you're going shark stuff. Deep Blue Sea? Deep Blue Sea, yeah. Come on, man. Sam, yeah, shark that, Sam, Sam Jackson, Wait. like, stands there and gets eaten as a shark jumps through glass. Like, come on, man. How did the LL Cool J song go to that? Deepest, bluest, my heart is like a shark fin? My, my eyes are like a shark fin? Deepest, bluest, my heart is like a shark fin. Deepest, bluest, my heart is like a shark fin. Wait, was it Sam Jackson who got eaten? Yeah, he got eaten. It was, yeah. right? Okay. It was, yeah. you said LL Cool J, and then I got, like, the bald head things mixed up. And I was like, mm. did I say the wrong person? No, because LL Cool J was the chef. Yeah. But he also, mm. because I don't know if you've heard, he was, he was a guy, rapper right? at one point. I don't and so remember. he did Deepest, yeah. Bluest, Something is Like a Shark Fin. I know there was, was a song. on MTV. Did he do that? Uh, Thanks me a channel. Did he do that I'm Fat song? You know I'm fat, I'm fat, show them all. Is that it? No. Is that different? No. No. Uh, I'm, yeah. I think it's a different, yeah. Guy. different guy. Definitely, definitely a white guy named Al Yankovic. Okay. Well. Or, got, or a, like a caller into the Jim Rome show. I got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> God, Jesus. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> uh, all right. So pull out your Big Ten bingo card. Uh, who here had Kirk Ferentz as the first recruiting violation for the big, the new Big Ten conference? <laughs> the first, it's gross, the first man. suspension for recruiting violations. I thought we entered this league in good faith. Yeah, I thought, I thought this was a prestigious conference we were in. I thought we I thought had we character were... guys, you know? Yeah, yeah, like literally, I thought we were coming in. As like the pilgrims to the Native Americans who had established their land in good faith. We weren't going to, you know, spread any illnesses. There'd be no slaughters. It would just be cat like a, you know, grapes and turkey and all. And, and, and here we go already. What's mine there's, is there's what's, a pox amongst us. What's mine is and yours. It's Iowa Welcome to our community. Yeah. Here disgusting. we are. It's disgusting. Yeah. We are a family. It's yeah. gross. Yeah. Got a bunch of John Smiths out there, don't we? Huh? Oh, play on the WB now. Oh, damn, it's a damn shame. Oh. Wasn't wasn't it over a quarterback as well? Wasn't Cade, that Cade, Mac Cade McNamara. Cade McNamara. Yeah, who, yeah. Is, uh, who is a very, at best at best middling quarterback? Really bad at quarterback. Yeah. Not good. <laughs> good. At best middling. He did. He did start a playoff game. He did. I think I said this. I think I said this in the Discord. I I played a guy in uh, college football twenty five uh, online who used Iowa. I was like, I was, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, just yeah. trying to win. Three, what are you three, doing? Three nothing. Seven five, seven yeah. three or something. The guy the guy literally yeah. had like eighty yards the whole game, and sixty of it was on like a hail mary pass to his really tall tight end. Like. What? And he beat and he beat you six to three, didn't he? No, God no! Yeah. Scored so many points. Or Oregon, Oregon is so much faster than Iowa. It's like it's ridiculous. Yeah, no, sorry, but but yeah, like here we are in this like cesspool of a conference now. Like we're, I mean, you see what Oregon's doing because they're putting it out on YouTube, bud. You know, like yeah, no, all class. Like we're 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 showing love to we. <laughs> or Oregon's out here showing love to uh to equipment managers and strength coaches and you know like it's there's there's no hierarchy with this Oregon program you know like everybody's equals it's all about like you know family coming together and you know putting putting the best foot forward every Saturday and then you you see guys like Kirk Ferentz and you see Iowa and you're just ashamed you know, like I, I gotta it's, stand next to this guy. Like, yeah. What do I, I don't know if I don't know if I can let my kids watch Iowa football on TV. Can't, can't. What are we doing? It's gross. Damn. Like, you know, oh, uh, you know, we all have our errors. I supported the Iraq War at one point. Oh, weapons of mass destruction, forgivable. Forget all the the lives that, that have vanished of that. Kirk Ferentz. And Cade McNamara, that's unforgivable. Yeah. That's the ultimate sin. Yeah. That's that's Judah, yeah. Judas in the Bible. That's what that is. Yeah. That's Johnny Damon going to the Red Sox. That's what that is. It's terrible. It's gross. That's Jabbar Muhammad going from Washington to Oregon. 
That's okay. Mark it, yeah. delete it. I didn't say that. <laughs> that's that rough. was a great move. That's rough. <laughs> what's 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 going to happen next? Northwestern's going to get popped with like an academic cheating scandal. I mean, oh, oh, Northwestern. Oh yeah, and that's it. Northwestern last year. Oh, our coach is a toxic, abusive bully, and now this with Kirk Ferentz. No, Why did we no, join? no, Northwestern's like an acting school, right? They're they're going to get busted for using AI in their school projects. Like that. I mean, what are we doing, guys? Like we're we're letting the robots win now, Northwestern. Like really? See, luckily. We're, Luckily, that's that's why we have Rutgers. Union busting Rutgers hope, no wrong. Yeah, I hope when the scandal gets to Evanston, uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus is mm-hmm. left untouched, because that's my veep. That's my veep. That's all I'm saying. Well, I I don't know how we as a community, a a B one G community, can move forward from this. But you know, I guess. I mean, I'm. I'm literally shaking. <laughs> I, I think their punishment should be that they have to play Cade McMara at quarterback for the next five years. Yeah. I think that should be the punishment. Yeah, he, gets, one he, year gets, he gets two he extra, one more year now. He gets two extra years. <laughs> have you yeah. guys, but he's uh, this came play. out like a week or two ago of uh, an open Iowa scrimmage. Did you guys see any of the Cade McNamara highlights? <laughs> Rough. Yes. Rough. Woof. Oh my god. Woof. And Kirk is like, oh yeah, kind of what we've seen all camp. <laughs> yeah, lie. You you you're apparently lying on other ends. Lie about that one. Yeah. Just say the wind was weird. Yeah. Like, it was bl- a little blustery out there that day. A little blustery. Do over under, do they average double digit points this year on offense? Let, let's say you take out their cupcakes. How about conference? Points conference yeah i'll say they average 17 oh god there, 17 there are they're some, never losing then there are never some losing. very good defenses in the big time to make in the playoff yeah yeah you know you they're did. my dark horse i do they're 10 and 2 they're making the playoff no way i got like eight and a half yeah, they, they win ten games a lot, yeah. guys. They're gonna get shut. They're gonna get shut out like three times. I'll say in, Very con- in conference. Yeah, and Iowa is one of those teams that used to play in the Big yeah. Big Ten West, where they just played Purdue, Illinois, Northwestern, Nebraska. That's kind of gone. So the best team they would play is Wisconsin. Yeah. So, but they're still my dark horse to get into them from uh booble in the chat braga has never seen jaws but knows cade mcnamara <laughs> that's a good point <laughs> yeah shut up <laughs> i only know about him because i just worked him over in a video game um so any any other college football to talk about no. I want to. I want to. I want to yeah. know what your guys' opinion on of what broke out of Colorado. Yeah, I was. That's was what that I was going to bring up. Yeah. Uh, all right. Where do you guys sit on the fence of that? Uh, so ex- just so taking ex- out. Ex- well, real quick, explain what happened. Explain what we're talking about. So, I some coach of some kind at Colorado went to deal with the Saudis to try to get essentially NIL money for players. Get it. Yeah, so are you guys fine with foreign no. that damn foreign money? <laughs> no, it doesn't have really anything to do with the Saudis. Yeah. The whole private equity thing is a bad deal because they will at some point sell you on a short and fuck you because they've got their money back at some point. They do not care about you anymore at that point. And they will yeah. no. It's it, getting like, into the private equity money. business. If the players got their money, they don't care though. Well, the players won't. But if yeah. you're a if you're a supporter of Colorado, or mm. let's take let's take a team that's like somewhat relevant, yeah. Iowa, Iowa. If you're a Hawkeye fan. Yeah. Hey, it might be great for a couple of years, but eventually they are going to want their money back, and they're going to pull the the rug underneath everyone and bail. And you're so screwed. You're screwed. Well. I don't like so the are, private equity thing. I mean, the the Saudi part is just kind of uh, icing on the cake, and it's a fun thing to talk about. 
Liv and all that, but the private equity pretty, money. What's going to happen with Liv then? If that's what you're saying, I mean, Liv's like not even outdrawing pickleball games on you're TV. Right. So the, it's like, the, the golfers will make their money. Yeah. The, the admins will eventually at some point, like Greg Norman, for example, he's made so much money off the private equity money from Liv. But at a certain point, he's gonna see, he's either gonna see the writing on the wall and bail, and come out perfectly well, or go down with the ship and still come out okay because he's Greg Norman. But they don't give you that money to make you well off. Right. They do it to maximize their profits. Yeah, I, so you, I, you, I, you, so you have no, pro so you have no yeah. problem with the money. You're like, yeah, let's say it was Oregon that was doing this. Like, you have no problem with the money, foreign money coming in for the program. You just don't. Well, well my thing is, I would say no anyway, even if it was from a Bank of America. The 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 Saudi thing makes it worse because bone saws and all that stuff. I'm against it in general. Call. Oregon doesn't need it. If Colorado did it and it got them two seasons of, and they won three playoff games total in three years or whatever, it's probably worth it for the fan. But on the back end, it's going to suck. Well, I guess if you're Dion and you probably not plan on being there longer than two, three years, then yeah, why the hell Great not? for him. Yes. Yeah. Like Colorado should, Colorado should be a program that does it. There, but there's, you know, like Oregon or even, you know, Ohio State should never dabble on that stuff. Yes. You know, some some of those other programs. But Colorado, if you want to microwave that for a little bit, do it. Just know that it's going to be terrible. And if it's terrible in your Colorado, who cares? It's been terrible for 20 years. Right. So I'm curious. I'm not even making this a moralist thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm just saying that eventually – they're going to bleed you dry. I'm, I'm curious about like one aspect of this, like just the yeah. fact that it is a foreign company. Um, and by the way, it, it's not necessarily like the Saudis. If it was like an Australian company, if it was like whatever, anything like, do they have to answer to the IRS to be able to invest like this in college football like it like is that part of it like is that part of the nil stuff for the universities is like whoever they work with whoever these players work with do they have to be like a united states company that is governed financially by the united states government you know what i mean i'm not sure if that would deal with uh if that would have to deal with like the university because that's you know, I don't. I'm not sure if universities can take foreign money like that, right? Well, that's what I'm saying. Is like because the, uni oh, the, the universities organize most of the NIL stuff. Like there, yeah. I, I don't. I don't get the sense that the players themselves, even the the big ones, like like you saw it. You saw it the other day. Like Dylan Gabriel was on a Oregon football. It was either Oregon football or Go Ducks or something. It was a Beats by Dre ad for like these duck colored beats by dre headphones and it was dylan gabriel you know whatever so dylan gabriel's the star of that like dylan gabriel's the guy who's getting all the money for that but the university organized that so or the athletic department organized that so that that's what i'm saying is like if we're like can a public university even do that with a foreign entity you know a foreign company i don't know I'm curious. Florida State yeah. wants to. Yeah. They're so, dabbling. They're trying. So it's like, I, because I think we, like, our general thought on this is like, you know what? Like, it's the Wild West. Get money. Like, players should be paid. Like, let them get paid however they want. Um, don't really give a shit. Um, but I think that might be where the line does get drawn is when it's not taxed. You know, so because because, you know, like nothing happens without the U.S. government getting something. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's all they so, care about. Like yeah. I said, you can make as much money as you want, but if you ain't yeah. giving them their kickbacks and that's that's what I'm saying. So I don't know how that would work um, or right. if it even would. But I didn't even see why it fell apart. Did it just didn't materialize. I think for he, I, yeah, I think he just like reached out to somebody and then the conversation just sort of ended. 
that's what I saw anyway. I don't know if there's been much reporting beyond that, but it's, couldn't hurt to ask, right? Hey. I said, I'm, I'm on King. It's like, hey, if you're Colorado, why the fuck not? Yeah. Makes you wonder what Kirk Ferentz did to get suspended for a game for Cade McNamara, doesn't it? Dude, what, what the fuck would Cade McNamara actually like be worth that would get you suspended? Well, I mean, it's weird, right? Because like, cause Harbaugh got four years show cause for COVID recruiting violations, which is essentially just like contacting players during restricted times where you're, the period. where you're yeah. not allowed and to contact he, players like and he kept lying yeah yeah, yeah right. they do, they, they really like, don't like lying yeah they were like yes you ordered a burger with bacon and he was like no why would i order that at 10 30 and they were like because we you don't were, know because you, you were did. hungry like, yeah <laughs> here's the receipt you ordered it well maybe i did are you saying you did nope like his yeah. obstinate lying is more of why he and in his position, I get it. Lie, lie, lie. Try and win the title that year. Go to the NFL. Why would you comply? Oh, I understand it. But and the four year thing is also because they're like, it's not coming back. No. <laughs> like, if he would have won the title in 22, he would have left. If he had won in 21, he would have left it. If he had won it in 2020, when he went two and four, he would have left. The point is, he would have left and he's not coming back. So just tack on a couple of years. It's all. I mean, it's kind of dumb, but it's, it is real dumb. The same thing with Chip. Chip wasn't coming back fa that fast anyway. Yeah, I mean, no, you know, he, he was gone for five plus years at least. Yeah. He almost, yeah, like... he, he almost did. <laughs> 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 Didn't last with my team very long. Mm -hmm. Just like, what a cash grab. Yeah, I would love, a winning team is the problem. I would love to know how much money he made from the Niners. Because when he took that job, it was like, wow, that's a terrible job. Yeah. Like the team is really bad. Really bad, yeah. It doesn't matter that it was G yeah. Jim Jim Tom Sula. Like oh, Tom he was Sula. bad too, but it didn't matter. Your team was not good. Yeah. That was such a cash grab. All right. The, G the GM didn't change. That was the problem. <laughs> you can you can hire different coaches all you want if you keep the same fucking GM. I think he's the GM of the Jags now or something too. The, was it Trent Balky? Yeah, Trent Balky. Yeah, yeah, he's the Jags guy. Yeah, he yeah, is. Balky, but, he yeah. is fucking terrible, man. Oh, yeah. I always you know, read it as Balky because I'm standing tall yeah. on the wings of my yeah. dreams. <laughs> Rise and fall. God. So good. You know, so like, good. you know, I gotta no. say, like, ever since we gave Ski shit for not singing, he has been singing. Like we it's got good. Like, credit where well, it's get, credit where it's due, get, my guy. You know? When I get late eighties, like early nineties sitcom theme songs, yeah, I'm on board. It's good to know. It's, it's good to know. Like what's the wings? Are there any lyrics to the wings thing theme song? I don't even I, remember it. I don't think so. I don't think, I think so. You're instrumental. Yeah. Phil, I'm pulling it up. I don't think you need to because I'm pretty, I'm almost 100% sure there's no lyrics to it. Can you recite all the Mentos commercials from that era? No. Definitely not. I'm trying to think of Bob. All right, trying to think of if... odd Mentos commercial back. Yeah, where he rubs the paint on his suit because he got a little paint on his suit. Oh, yeah, he did. Can you, can you yeah, hear this? Inside. No. No, Discord kills all the sounds. It does, does not like music. Yeah. We talk a lot about fascism oh. and politics now. Yeah. It's fucking Discord, man. Yeah, it's literally, Can't even play fucking... it's literally just music. It's like violins and piano music yeah yeah it's just easy listening as you're flying over the cape as it should be you know it fit the show that's a that's an easy living Are you a cape show. cod guy <laughs> could you be a cape cod guy i mean do i have like endless money to live in the cape and like... no i'm just saying like could you adopt i could you adopt being a, a cape cod guy like a coast guy right like, a like coast? four, four yeah. buttons unbuttoned all year no matter what, 
You go out there when it's 57 degrees and kind of cloudy just to get that little bit of UV. So, so that's my, yeah, that's my question. Like, cause the 57 and cloudy is like as good as it gets. Right. Like we're talking like Oregon coast, right. Where it's like, well, it never gets is. hot. Like it's the same, right? Just Cape East Hatteras. Coast. It's what? Cape Hatteras. That's the, that's the Oregon one. Yeah. Right. So, so Yes. Oh, okay. Well, no, I'm asking. Like, what is what is know. Cape Cod I mean, like? Uh, or whatever. I mean, it's Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard. I mean, like, okay. great summers people. out there. I know that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. No. So maybe I, I I could definitely be a coasty. I think I'd have to go up the coast north, and I'd I'd just be like a Mainer kind of person. I need I'd have to adapt to be like a crab. I'd have to go lay crab pots a lot. I think. I could see that, like retirement thing, what I, right? You just become a crabber yeah. in your old retirement. Boat? Are you boating or docking? Or oh yeah, we'd be we'd be boating. Yeah. Boating? Oh, oh, look oh, at yeah. this guy. Well, look if you're if you're oh, living in Cape Cod, why endless money? I don't know, man. You just <laughs> bought a boat in Cape Cod. Yes. <laughs> well, for the, I'm sure there's plenty of boats for sale out there with that industry how it's doing. So fair enough. Yeah. All right, so maybe I. You know, I got to say, like, most of the time when I go to the Oregon coast, I'm like, man, like, I kind of want to go back. <laughs> like, it's it's like sort of cold and miserable out here. Like, I like it for like a couple days max, like living there. Like, nah, nah. There's a reason why coasties are a little peculiar. Yeah. Good for your uh, blood circulation as you get older. So I've heard Okay. not a lot of extremes. Mm hmm. I'd be fine. Walk around. I'd be fine yeah. taking medication for that instead. You know, like I'm good. <laughs> Sort some compression socks. I think you're good. You know, I I'll admit something. So 42 years old, I take medication for blood pressure and cholesterol and my diabetes obviously. But like I'm on cholesterol and blood pressure medication, guys. I mean, blood pressure meds, Jesus Christ. I know. The they're like, oh, 128 over 90? You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You know, I would go yeah. in. Oh, I'm on 10 milligrams of blood pressure a day, too. And yeah. it's stupid because they're like, I used to have to go in. It's like yeah. three years ago. I went in for like six months, four times. Like, man, it's it's not the it's it's not the 86 we're concerned about. Yeah. But we've changed the parameters, and and one thirty, you're dying. You're dead. Yeah. You I'm have heart failure. Surprise! You're walking. Sorry to break it to yeah. you. Yeah, I'm also like, uh, like morbidly obese based on my my the like BMI. BMI. Jesus like, Christ. That's the that's the biggest yeah. load of shit I've ever seen in my the life. The BMI, yeah. yeah, the BMI yeah. thing is an absurdity. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's a thing. It's all you know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the first the, the first time I went in to get my blood pressure checked mm -hmm. when this whole thing was going on like four years ago, I guess it's even been a little bit longer. But whatever. I went to a birthday party the night before and stayed out until like one thirty in the morning, just getting shit house. Yeah, uh, a couple soda pops in there and just... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Don't and don't go for appointment. A, don't go for a physical like, the next day. <laughs> yeah. At like seven thirty, so I didn't have to miss any work. Oh yeah, I can come in. And I just didn't. I just, it just didn't process. They flagged me. Like, oh my god. Yeah. If you're alive in six months, it's gonna be a fucking miracle. <laughs> I was like, ah, I think I smoked some cigs. <laughs> <laughs> Had some shots. Man, you were cooking the books. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. not good. It was not good, but they flagged me. And, yeah. you know, yeah. it's like, like the, the IRS. You it's can't like a, escape them. The opposite of brushing your teeth before you go into the dentist, right? It's like you, you brush really well. You floss for the first time in a month. And then you go in and they're like, oh, it looks like you're doing a really good job. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Taking care. Of, yep. You bet. Do you guys like your dentist? I love my dentist. Yeah. Genuinely. Like I I am a person who in my 20s hated the dentist so much that I just didn't go. 
Um, I had like a really bad experience with one once and was just like, I, I'm never going to the dentist again. And then I got like re I got like insurance that covered it and made it like free. And so, oh, cool. yeah. and so I was like, sure. you know what? Like, let's, let's do it. Like my teeth are in really bad shape. I needed to go do it. And so I started, ended up with a guy I really like. He's like a really cool dude. Also my kid's dentist, like fucking awesome. I I'll, I'll swear by that dude forever and genuinely like going in. Like it's it's not bad, I'll take it. I like my dentist. Yeah, but what I hate is they never send reminders. Like, hey, oh. why not Your get dentist? a teeth cleaning? I have to do it all on my own. Yeah, I can't do that on my own. You gonna manage the calendar? Up. I mean, shit. I call them up like shaking. Oh, uh, uh, oh, I think I'm overdue for a a cleaning. Oh, it's terrifying. I get in there and I love the guy, but they never send me a thing. They'll give me a card that says, oh, cleaning in blah, 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 June 17th. Let's do a cleaning. Yeah. But it's not real. It's oh, they don't real. They don't schedule it? They don't schedule it. Just a little reminder. Oh, hey. Just, it's a just, reminder. Just yeah, I've learned this in the last year and a half. I'm like, oh. Because yeah. before it was an old grizzled man, and I oh, actually yeah. did not like him. Yeah. He was a He was a tooth shamer. Because like I've said on here before, I chewed tobacco for many a year. Gross habit. Never do it. Please, kids. It, but, it makes your breath stink and can make yeah, your face fall but, off. But, Zin, do it. But, but Zins are okay. I've never done yeah. a Zin in my life. I'm just kidding. Not one. I'm kidding. Not a single not Zin. Sk not one. Not one. Like Jesus said, don't Sk Zin. Ski's over here like, look, gang, nobody mo look, look. knows more about Zins than me. Huh. They're great. <laughs> And definitely don't chew, even though it's like it's a awesome. real like yeah. he shamed you. Like, but yeah. the new guy doesn't. Yeah. But <laughs> ever since they changed hands, he just doesn't call and like yeah. schedule it. It's it's weird. I don't. You got to you got to schedule while you're leaving the first appointment. What I'm are you, trying. What are you doing? I I thought that was what. Oh, in, in November nineteenth. Well, they don't call me to tell me I didn't show up. The the dentist never calls. I never hear from him. What a uh, what, what, uh, what what scare tactic did your dentist use for like to you to like not chew? Uh, he said your breath stinks. <laughs> hmm. <I don't> <laughs> That's not I, good to hear from a dentist, by the way. Like somebody who literally has open mouths in front of him all day long. Like saying, I mean, I was that, like, I know the risks of cancer. Yeah. I've clearly eschewed those warnings, <laughs> but. Oh, my breath stinks. Well, I guess I got to stop. How about how about this one? He said, you know, you know what they do if you have like gum cancer? You know how they were like fix and help replace your gum cancer? They take skin from your asshole and graft it into your mouth. Hell yeah. That's yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's not a deterrent for King. I don't think, you know, God. have you have you ever had, a Copenhagen, have you ever had a Copenhagen black? A bourbon, Seriously, Copenhagen bourbon. I mean, God, that's worth Fucking asshole hell. mouth. If they still day. made Copenhagen, Copenhagen bourbon, I never yeah. would have quit chewing in the first place. <laughs> I've never, I've never chewed before. Never have. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. it's great. So I've heard. Again, kids, never do it. Yeah, I haven't done it. I haven't had a drop of nicotine in like six years. But oh man, it's glorious. Yeah. Oh, good, for, it's good, so good. good. Good for you, by the way. Yeah, I'm sure there have just, been really difficult patches just think, of that. Just think there right weren't, now. Actually, no. Really? No, there there's nothing ever good about it. No, yeah. no, I, I just I took yeah. I took Shantix and it was like the easiest thing ever to quit. I was like, you got this shit away for free. <laughs> Shit's easy. I don't want it anymore. Yeah, why is every, what's everybody complaining about? Tobacco, no, was tobacco's like, oh, easy to stop. Oh, without insurance, nine thousand dollars for Shantix. Oh, yeah. that's why they don't just give it out. Yeah. God bless America. But just just think how good. A bourbon getting thrown in your mouth right now would be a bourbon, a little Pedro right. bourbon, oh, a little Pedro bourbon. That oh, burn because God. you haven't had a dip in forever. That burn would just. I think I would go. Spinning. You'd be spinning. Speaking of discontinued chew, I I think I would s chew second time I've mentioned. S yeah, it's the second time you've done that. <laughs> uh, the bourbon. I would go Kodiak ice. Ooh. Terrible. It's mint. Yeah. Oh, mint it's Kodiak. Yeah. Oh, but I want that shit to cut my lip. Oh, you, you want that little fiberglass in there? I want the fiberglass right in the back of my throat. Hell yeah. 
I will say there's nothing worse than the wake up the next day after you chew like an entire can. Your mouth is just, it's just like the worst. Just, oh. Yeah. Definitely don't miss those mornings. No. You know what doesn't do that? Zin. 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 Brought to you by Zin. <laughs> um, Booble says basically what I do. He schedules the next cleaning still laying in the chair, finishing the current cleaning. Yes. I thought they do, but my, I'm my guy for two. I do the same thing. My guy's like, all right, okay, do you want to schedule the next cleaning? And he just like does it right on the computer right there. I don't even have to go to the front desk, man. That's how they yeah, that's guy. how they that's how they get their hooks in you, man. Repeat customers. Um, all right. Anything else before we do our list? By the way, uh I did have a I think WCP brought it up. He was asking if we were doing week zero picks this week. Uh, no, we will be doing our first lines uh, next week. We so. will miss three Big Ten games. There are three like Big Ten games on Thursday, next Thursday that we will miss. I hate week zero. Yeah. Week I zero. actively don't watch anything on week zero. It's I think. Poop. It's poop. I mean, it's you want to watch terrible. Was it Florida State, Georgia Tech? Yeah, and it's at noon or something from Ireland. But no, I don't no. like week zero. I don't want to see it. It's a con- it's a contrivance. It's a media contrivance. If there were big games, I was gonna say, shouldn't, be they be a, shouldn't there be at least one decent matchup on a week but zero? That's the whole point, it's, right? It's like my thing with the Mac. Enough. It was cute for a year. No one likes the Mac. You don't want to watch Eastern Michigan and Akron. You don't. Stop lying about it and stop saying you're excited to watch Delaware State as a 39 and a half point underdog at Hawaii midnight Eastern. You don't. You will not watch it. I understand it's the internet. You will will not watch it. You don't like any of it. Yeah, Ski will. He's got money on it. So Ski's watching. Get that, so get Oregon that, that and match. Hawaii. So Oregon should be playing week zero at Hawaii. Yeah. And they canceled it over the winter. And now they're playing Delaware State and they're a 40 point favorite. What would Oregon be a favorite over Delaware State? Are we over 100? I know FCS lines and I think they're an HBCU. I think Delaware State is an HBCU. I, does, so, so the lines on those are spurious, but. Would they treat it like uh like an NFL preseason game where like Dylan Gabriel gets one series and Jordan James gets one series, Tez Johnson one series and like it's, I would say it's they just play half. I'd say it's, they play half. it's the who's the dude, the quarterback for Oregon who like balled out in the fourth quarter in the spring game? It's like, like Luke Novasad? Moga or Novasad. something, right? Austin Novasad? No, not Novasad. The other guy, that Luke Moga. Moga. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like, that guy plays three quarters against Delaware State. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Four, those are four games. Florida State, Georgia Tech, Montana State, New Mexico, riveting. This one, I, SMU, Nevada. That's... Yeah. No. Those, those are the games, and then Delaware State Hawaii. No, <laughs> you're you're like that's no Nevada man. Nevada <laughs> is one of the like, huh? like, Nevada is one of the saddest yeah. FBS schools out there. Man, they, it's just yeah. they they had a well, they had a one year run with Colin Kaepernick. And yeah, they beat Boise State that one time. That's yeah. fucking it. They, invent, yeah. they, well, they invented the worst offense in the history of football, like the pistol, pi- the pistol and that's what they're famous mm-hmm. for. I no. fucking hate the pistol. No. Yeah, it's the worst. It's the worst. Remember when the Ducks had to run a lot of that pistol shit and it, the running backs 11 yards behind the line of scrimmage? Jesus Christ. Like, yeah. Who thought that was a good idea? The other idea? night, I'm playing NCAA. Was that a Gary, Gro- was that a Gary random- Groton offense? No, uh, Chris Alt, I think, is the guy. He's the guy Chris who like A U L T, I believe. Yeah, but I'm I'm Utah playing the game, just random, just random team, uh, and coach suggestion. Every time it was yeah. to go in four or to go in five or less, pistol. It's like get. Get the fuck out of here! I'm not running the fucking pistol. You're 19 yards behind me. 
It's 32. This is worse than a shotgun. Like, what are we doing? It literally is worse than a shotgun. Like, your quarterback has to turn around to the guy. Or, or catch the ball and stop and turn his body to one direction or another. Like, it's fucking terrible. Yeah, Mastro. Like, like WCP says Mastro is from the alt coaching tree. Oregon, I so. hate the pistol. I've always hated the pistol. But that Auburn Oregon game in 2019, I'm I'm kind of making up the scenario. Oregon's up by a little bit. There's five minutes left. Herbert has to go out for a play for some reason. And it's third and one. And they bring in Tyler Shuck and they run a fucking pistol run where he's literally running back like three yards to hand the ball off to Travis die on like third and one or third and two, eight yards deep. And surprise, surprise, he didn't get it. And they lost. I hate the pistol. Like at that point, just sneak it. Just try yeah. your luck, Mario. Sneak it. No, we're, we're very on record with the quarterback sneak at this point. Like we, I, I myself have seen two of the best quarterback sneakers in football. I saw Jimmy Garoppolo do it for many years for the 49ers. And then Bo Nix was really good at the quarterback sneak. He's not quite that level, but the, the guy knew exact, like he and uh, what, Forsyth, the center, like knew exactly what they were doing with a quarterback sneak. So well, that's, that's all that really matters. It's all about the center quarterback dynamic. Center that's quarterback why, dynamic. Yep. Philly, that's why Philly was so good with Kelsey and Hurts. Yeah. Well, it's, that's why. Well, and it's uh, like Tom Brady's the best ever, like at quarterbacks. Well, Brady's so, the best ever to get yeah. a yard. Yeah. If you need a yard, Brady will get you yeah. a yard 100% of the time. That's when you run it. Yeah. But the Hurts, they would do the tush push. It's like third and three. Yeah. Well, and get so, four or five yards. so is that, a quarterback sneak. Yeah. Okay. When, when you're getting pushed, yes, yeah. Especially okay. in Philly, they yeah. push right. them behind. Yeah. Okay. It's a loophole, but yeah. yeah. It's well, it's not. It's not natural, is what I'm saying. It, it it's a derivative. Yeah. I I am more of a Brady Garoppolo sneak guy myself, but you know. So you're you're a big Bell, big Bell, Bill Belichick guy. I'm a pu- I'm a pu- I'm a purist quarterback sneak purist. As a yeah. As a fan who watches an Andy Reid team, he has not run a quarterback sneak since 2019 in Chicago when Patrick Mahomes dislocated his kneecap. Won't run him anymore. Never. It'll be a third and an inch. And you want to know what it is? Double reverse with the tight end. (laughs) Not worth it. Every time. Not worth it. It's It's, just the craziest thing ever. Lose a football game instead of running a quarterback sneak with Patrick Mahomes. Hmm. You know? You're, it's the NFL. Well, it's you can you can lose games. It's okay. Yeah, not worth it. Um, right. so we I was gonna say though. Go ahead. With with thing, with your hatred of Week Zero, do you not hate the like twenty plus games that are on Thursday? Yeah, I kind of hate that too. Yeah, I mean, it should Week One should be almost everyone playing Saturday, right? Kind of. Yeah, I mean, yeah. a couple like. A big matchup like on Thursday or Friday. I think like a on Thursday, like week one of Thursday, if ESPN wants a game, okay. And if Fox wants a game, okay. Because like Minnesota seems to always be a Thursday week one team for some reason. Okay. I don't need 19 games. I just need to sit down and be like, okay. I, I got it. It's week before week one, Thursday. Awesome. Two games, one game, fine. I don't I don't need all of this stuff. Minnesota is definitely playing on Thursday. They're the Fox game against North Carolina. Oh, again, it's like year three out of four. Them and South Carolina play on that Thursday all the time. Yep. Take a guess at what our Big Ten, there's two Big Ten games on the Big Ten network. Illinois. I guess what they are. Uh, one is Illinois. Yes. They play Eastern Illinois. Yeah. The other one, another just riveting matchup. You got Howard at Rutgers. I was gonna oh. say Rutgers. That, that that's gonna be our jump into yeah. our conference now. Is those? That's how we're kicking off our conference. Those two games. Exciting. You mentioned like the Maction thing. I think the reason why we think people like the Mac is because 
that's how Friday night football games started, you know? Like, like all the way back when they first started showing games on Thursdays and Fridays, um, that's what it was. And everybody was, like, super excited. Yeah, baby, let's see some action on a Friday, blah, 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 college football, yeah. And people liked it, but I think that's sort of worn off. Like, yeah, Now it's yeah. on, like, Tuesday. And the teams are boring. Action, it sucks. Wednesday is mostly when it's on. But yeah, Wednesday? Would you, guys, yeah. no would, one... you guys, would you guys prefer just to have no football on? Yes. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter because I don't watch it. I don't watch it. You're not so going to watch it. Don't... It's Saturday. You're not watching them anyway. I just don't, don't want to see people be like, um, Eastern Michigan, zong. You, you, you didn't watch it either. You just saw a tweet. <laughs> like, stop lying, Nicole Auerbach. You didn't watch it. Like, you're a busy professional. Stop lying. Yeah. Hey, Cole Kublik, you're not watching either. Because you're prepping for a game on Saturday in the booth. Stop lying. You're not watching Akron. Watch Central Michigan. Chippewas. Chippewas. Oh, my mm. God. All those directional Michigan. Oh, schools. yeah. Like, love big directional Michigan. Yeah, look, well, the, what, let's watch the Eagles sword in Ypsilanti, Michigan on a Wednesday. No, I won't. I will say I dislike Eastern Michigan. I don't know why. It's like they're depressing. Yeah, they're, it's a depressing school to watch. Yeah, here's a uh, Akron at the Rubber Bowl, and there's nine people there, but somehow there's nine thousand college people with blue checks. Oh, I love action! I wish I could be there. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Their fans don't wish they could be there. Yeah. Uh, they're fine. Uh, they, they got literally nothing else to do. Terrible. <laughs> It's, uh, like, it's like when it, it's like when Republicans say they care about poor people, you know, yeah. I can see retweets, but do they? Yeah. Sorry. That was just a, I was, I was just trying to interject something. No topical. I think. Yeah. Um, do we want to like, we're, we really need to do the list and just like end the podcast. Like, yes. do, do we want to say anything about Nick's being named the starter in Denver? It was obligatory. It was always. Yeah. Gonna happen. It seemed like it, right. It's beating out. Stidham and Zach Wilson. It's yeah. it's not like he's you know jumping the gun of like a season starter. Yeah, it's I like... I think like the question maybe was Stidham, but I think Nix was just so well. No, yeah, I mean like if if Nix if Nix is if Nix is out here like throwing interceptions during the preseason, Stidham is probably the starter, right? Like, but he wasn't. But he was he was Nick, super we knew solid. Nix wasn't going to do that because he doesn't yeah. throw the ball more than five yards. He's not going to throw interceptions. <laughs> It's gonna dink and dunk. This fucking and take guy. Take fifteen plays to kick a field goal. So it's gonna happen. <laughs> has anyone in a Sean Payton offense? The only guy in a Sean Payton offense that has thrown deep balls is Russell Wilson, and he was terrible, and he is terrible, Who? and that's mainly because he's washed. But who's the Denver running back? Oh, it's so she... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who it is, but they're about to be a star because they're going to catch 80 passes this year. Just oh, just definitely. be ready for it. Yeah. All right. Listen, no. my thing on Bo Nix yeah. is people are like, oh, all he does is complete layups. Yes, and just completing layups will get you frustrated. Your fan base will get you frustrated by that. Alex Smith. Just completed layups. Kirk Cousins layups. Even though that guy is like yeah. the best at making money in the league ever. 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 Uh, yeah. But when they're like, oh, all he does is complete all the easy passes. Okay. You want to know who doesn't? It's like uh, Justin Fields yeah. and Daniel Jones. And there's a li- uh, RG3 didn't do it. Uh, Manziel didn't do it. Mariota didn't. Do- I hate to break it to you guys. Mario did it for like three years. And then he got hurt and his arm went from eh to a noodle and he never did it again. So if all you do is complete everything from seven yards in, you're going to play for a while. They're all complete. That's, that's You'll bounce the around. Yeah. You'll bounce around the league. And if you're not in the right spot, you're not going to win a Super Bowl. Also, but if all Bo Nix does is complete 70% of his passes for nine air yards a pass, he's going to be around for a also, while. Also, that's not true. That's not all he does. He throws. It's he, all he, does. he threw deep at Oregon all the fucking time. So, nope. okay. Nope. All right. All right. And he also. 
Husky, husky can I say something? Of just we, I know we need to move on. Yes. We need to move. On. Yes. Last thing, the Bonix throw on Saturday or Sunday, whatever it was, where he was rolling to his left and he's at the at the first down line or the 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 line to gain and he throws it. He was over the line, yes. But I was watching NFL people be like, "Well, actually, his Achilles." at his right thumb were technically behind the line before through it. I hate that rule. And I say that as someone who watches Patrick Mahomes, who is like the one of the best rule. ever. He's just yeah. great at it. If you're a pass the line, you're past the line. I don't want to fucking hear that you're heel. You could be three, you could be three yards gate up past the line, but always oh, elbow hit that imaginary plane that no one can fucking see. It's fucking stupid. Right. That's a it, that's a wild thing about the video game too. By the way, is that you get called for that? Like like the fact that you can do that in the video game is insane. Like because it used to be like a there was a line right, and you'd start your throw and you cross the line and then pull down. <laughs> and you're like you're into this weird motion from like throwing to running, and then you get fucking drilled because you thought your guy was gonna throw the ball. Uh, by the way, uh, Denver's RB one, Javante Williams. What I said. Yeah, that's yeah. what he said, man. Weren't you listening? Yeah, that, yeah. No, yeah. Well, I, yeah, yeah, I heard it. Yeah, Aj P Ryan. Oh, there you go. Hey. P Ryan, like he never left. Let's go. All right. To our list. Our list this week comes from, I believe it was WCP541 in the Discord. Um, I don't know where the list came from or why he gave us this list. I would like for him to tell us in the chat right now. Um, it is your top three exotic animals. I Again, like, I don't know where the list came from. I just saw it and was like, all right. I'm curious. I want to do a deep dive into some exotic animals. Uh, so, yeah, by the way, is, by the way, exotic are we talking here? Also? Yeah. I, I mean, there, there there are no limits to our lists. It can be whatever you want. Um, maybe avoid like a human. Like pr probably that's the line you got to draw with like animals. But um, yeah. Yeah, so again, join our Discord, Sports Brewery and Discord, if you want to give us your list ideas. That's where we ask for them, and you can give us yours. So who wants to start? I'll start. Okay. My number three, just a zebra. Just a striped horse, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what they, uh, you know what they call them in, in Britain, King? They call them, they call them zebras. Uh, oh yeah you know me i fucking yeah. love mm -hmm. love me some britain yeah <laughs> i love it you didn't even I mention that was a whole office episode oh the zebras <laughs> terrible country the office terrible tv get show get yeah that too yeah uh my number three is the roadie island snake necked turtle you ever seen one you ever seen one of these guys you ever seen you ever seen a snake necked turtle check it out i'm guessing it has a long neck yep kind of like a snake right. it literally it's like a it's in the water and it's like a long snake neck it's really crazy looking i needed to have a turtle on my list and it actually like turtle, you know turtle. yeah needed to have a turtle and so i figured i love turtles i like turtles that's good what am i not turtle enough for the turtle club Turtle, That's turtle, the movie I'm going to be turtle, picking. I just came to my mind. I'll be picking Master Disguise. If yeah, it's we got we got two weeks. There's no yeah. way you're remembering that. No, I, I got a, I got a, I got a listener who told me a music or a suggestions that we need to we need to watch more rom coms. They're Sug sick of 1980s garbage. Fucking suggest one then, bro. This was a woman. She, uh, she said, 10 things I hate about you." Should be the number one one. Okay. We'll watch it next week. Is it streaming on something? I don't know. I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? What? I want to listen to a woman talk about exactly. movies. Thank what, you. What are we talking about? Thank here? you. What are we talking about here? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How about you, Ski? What's your three? Uh, I'll go my number three. Uh, I guess I'm going to go panda. It's a great animal. Panda, panda. <laughs> 
It's a great animal. And that not necessarily they don't have to do kung fu either, just mm-hmm. And they're not like panda. they're not like STD ridden like the koala or too. Koalas, you know? fucking like, get rid yeah, of koalas. Yeah. I've been in the, been very negative on them in the Discord. I think we just need to get rid of Australia. There's nothing good that's coming out of Australia. <laughs> like my, like my Hi, first Mills. like my first reaction was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Patty Mills. I make a point. I mean, that's we. Yeah. I think Patty. We can get rid of Patty too. Patty Mills. Can, and Wolverine. Jeffs with a G come out of Australia. <laughs> oh, the gee off. Yeah, the gee offs definitely do. Those fucking gee offs. Well, I think. Pa- about 1B, he could survive too. I think Patty Purge. Mills should like save the whole country. Like the whole country gets to live because of Patty Mills. That's what I think. That's my opinion. I think that the basketball team in Australia calls themselves the Boomers. It bugs they're weird. me. They're, they're weird, man. It bugs me. I'm like, do you not know the connotation to being. Boomers. 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 Whatever you say, boomer. It's it's crazy how they always shit on like people from New Zealand. It's like mm-hmm. people from New Zealand are just way cooler than people from Australia. They're the all blacks. Do the haka. I got I mean, just way better. That's uh, just get rid of Australia. We'll keep New Zealand though. Like polar polar opposite like governments too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like the opposite ends of the spectrum. <laughs> One of them, one of them handled COVID really well. <laughs> Do you know which one it was? <laughs> uh, all right, threes from the chat. WCP says iguana, and Booble says the gooey duck. That's um, I don't agree. I, I don't agree. Those things are weird. Um, Good to eat. Good to eat. Okay. All right. Uh, by the, Booble says Rhea Ripley's from Australia. So that's a win for Australia. Any wrest, wrestling fans out there? No? All right. Oh, yeah. I do know who that is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was drawing a blank, but I do know who that is now. It's a little, a little too scary. A little too scary. I don't agree. Oh, she'll beat that ass. I don't agree. She'll beat that ass. Um, 10 Things I Hate About You is on Disney Plus and Hulu right now. So... All right. And you want to know what I said when I was suggested 10 things they hate about you or whatever it's called? I go, oh, is that that one with Heath Ledger? And they're like, oh, no, it's this one. I was like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Like, oh, Connection well, point over. Oh, well, pick a different one. <laughs> I, then. Thought I, I thought I was coming right back at you, but nope. <laughs> Are you going to say, well, now I have one thing I hate about you? That you <laughs> hey! No, of course not. Of course not. That's rude. Oh, not to one of our loyal listeners. Uh, all right, what is your two, King? My number two is a Cayman. I just want to have a nasty, dirty, gross pit somewhere on my property where there's just a Cayman, and you just go out there and you throw a fucking spiral ham at it, and eventually you get comfortable enough to where you, you keep it on the ground and you poke it with a broomstick. How fucking great would that be? We get so many followers on TikTok. Oh yeah. So oh, much. here's Carrie the Cayman. Carrie the Cayman. I love it. By the way, I am stealing your idea for my number two. Mine is a dingo, and I don't want just one dingo. I want a pit of like twelve nope. dingoes. They're, yeah, and and I want to all... I want to throw live animals in there, and I want them babies. Live, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean. Live animals, uh, <laughs> infant children, uh, into, <laughs> into the into the pit, and I want to see the dingoes do their job. You know, I think I saw that at the DNC this week. The <laughs> dingo pit where they were throwing fetuses. Oh yeah, <laughs> demon rats, right? The demon rats. See, the problem is, that goes against my whole theory, right? They're mm-hmm. they got to get wiped out with all of Australia. Well, that's why I'm taking them before the country gets wiped oh. out. No? They can't no. live? Everything right. associated. Fosters, gone. Did you say gone? I haven't seen a Fosters in a really long time. No, there's a reason why, because it's fucking garbage. Do you ever have the green can of Fosters? No. Yeah, I didn't either. Now, why, why would anybody I didn't like the blue can, so I never tried the green can. At least stick to Fosters. Like, oh, look at us. We're quirky, alky Australians. We have, like, 
32 ounce cans of Foster. It's an oil can. Ah, oh, look at us. Yeah. 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 Was that always the thing? Like, was that the selling point? Is hey, we're from Australia. We drink like sixty-four ounces of beer at once. <laughs> it's Foster's Australian for beer. Yeah, but it's yeah. like the biggest can ever. It's like yeah, yeah it's a big gulp basically. All right. All right. Which good. is still probably more healthy than the American big. Gulp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, a thousand percent. To, to be fair. To be fair. Uh, I thought you meant Chris Cayman when you first said the Cayman. I was like, oh, I guess he's sort of an exotic animal. Clippers <laughs> legend. Also, I think he went to a Mac school. Yeah. Central <laughs> Michigan, didn't he? Central Michigan. He was a Chippewa. That's yeah. right. Yeah. See? Full circle. Pretty exotic, guys. Love the Mac now. Whoever I mean, said his, they hated the Mac? His his hairline was definitely exotic. Oh, yeah. man. It was rough. He had, like, spaghetti noodles on his hair, on his head in college. And it was like, yeah. ah. Once you saw his highlights, it was like, buddy... I get it. You're 19, but uh, uh yeah. all right, a little thin your, up there. What's your two ski? <laughs> uh, my, I'm just going straight a monkey. A monkey. Yep. They'll rip your balls off, man. Not to get, not get ones that's not aggressive like that. Right? They're all aggressive. They'll, they'll pal around with you and ride on little like tricycles and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want you need a trained monkey. And by the way, like even oh, those even trained. those trained monkeys, like they go off the handle every once in a while. So I mean, I'll rip a kid's face off every now and then. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, all right. R.I.P. Harambe. By the way, that was a gorilla. By the way, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, two's from the chat. WCP says honey badger. I wrote that. Booble says capybara. The elusive, the elusive the capybara. Chill animal. It's Very a very chill animal. Yeah. Chill animal. Yeah, that'd be a good pet. Like to yeah. just yeah, chill with your capybara. You know, that might be a good idea for me. Like my the place I live in doesn't allow like animals or like pets, I should say. Uh so I should just get a capybara. Like I guarantee you that's not on their list of banned animals. Oh, definitely not. Yeah. Loopholes, baby. Uh, all right, my number one, or wait, your number one. Yeah. My number one, and this is a bit of a, a redemption, Shades of Tosh.0 oh, web redemption, but per, a, a pit of piranhas. Because mm -hmm. I at one point had piranhas, and I went to the creek, and I caught a newt, and I fed it to the piranhas, and the second every piranha ate the newt, uh, their their scales melted off and their eyeballs fell out of their face. And uh, the newt eventually died, but uh, well before like four piranhas. He took, he they died like that. I didn't know they were poisonous. That is. So it's a redemption story for me. Awesome. It's a redemption arc. Yeah. That yeah. is one of the best stories I've ever heard. I was, I, I put the newt in. I was like, this is going to be fucking rad, man. And they all attacked it, and within seconds, they just disintegrated into pudding. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Did I, did, yeah. I, did I ever tell you guys the, the goldfish story? Like, so my kid and I got goldfish, like, right? This was, like, this, like five years ago or something like that. Got goldfish, um, had them. They were great, like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Got some little blue fish because, like, hey, mix it up. We'll create sort of like a fish community in there. And, like, a day or two go by, suddenly it's like, hey, where, where are the blue fish? Like, are they, are they, like, in the house or whatever? Maybe they're, like, hiding or whatever. It's like, why is there only, like, one or two now? Huh. All right. And then, like, a day or two goes by. I'm like, so all the blue fish are gone now. What the fuck happened to the blue fish? And I literally Googled it and learned through that. Me and my child and I both learned that goldfish eat other fish. And I did not know that about goldfish. And yes. th those fucking goldfish ended up fucking humongous. Because we we're, were feeding it, they were feeding them other fish. So, like, <laughs> I did not know that. I, I remember going, like, next time we went into the pet store, I, I asked the uh. guy, I was like, so, like, goldfish, like, is that. They, do they eat other fish? Is that like a real thing? He's like, oh yeah, uh huh, yeah, man. I, it's yeah. We actually like have fish that people, if they want to feed goldfish, they can. They can get. I was like, oh, 
All right. Well, shit. <laughs> and King, I got to know, when you had piranhas, were you rocking like a puka shell at the time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, puka shell uh, era. Spare yeah, puka shell era. That, so, Captain Ron. I was Captain Ron, yeah, man. Six, I was going to say, if you had piranhas. Canvas shoes, bleach yeah. hair, yeah. puka shell, absolutely. Feed yeah. my fish. Yeah, yeah. That all checks out, then, that's for sure. I was also a virgin. <laughs> also not surprising. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, man, I'm like a... Still am. Hey, man, I am, too. I'm a, I'm one of those, like, I'm I'm like a new or new virgin or whatever, right? Like, you hit that, hit that reset button, right? Yeah. Reborn. Yeah, reborn virgin. That's what I am. Yeah. Problem is you don't have a cool puka shell necklace that goes with the territory. Can you buy one? I'll go buy Fact, one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they can sell them anymore. Yeah. Hot oh, topic. Has go to, to a happen. Spencer's, buddy. Let Spencer. me tell you. <laughs> Hot topic at Spencer's. Yeah. Let me tell you, buddy. There's a there's a nice like <laughs> twelve by twelve square foot radius in Valley River Center that you can buy. You get a Green Day shirt, yeah. well, some Vans, and a puka shell <laughs> necklace for thirty nine bucks. I might have to go check it out. Yeah. How about that? And a thong. If you want to buy a thong, you can also buy one there. And a, and a coffee cup that says something about dicks. If you want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Go for it, man. What a, what a wild business. Live yeah. your life. Live your life. Uh, all right. So is it my number one No now? Stussy gear, though. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we can make our own. Got to go to Zoomies. Got to go to Zoomies for that. <laughs> I think that's still there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> is it my number one now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you gotta hurry this up. So my number one is an axolotl. Axolotl. That's what I want. I want to. Do you know what that is? You know what an axolotl is? It's like a. It's a swimming fish. I, I do, but I don't yeah. think ski does. Okay. All right. I'm looking at Ski's face. I know what it is. Yeah, ski yeah, yeah. is a little on the fence. So maybe you should explain to Ski what an axolotl is. It's yeah. an animal. Yeah, I know what it is. Okay, where what? Uh, just to like, just humor me, King. Like, what? Uh, where does it live? Like, what? What kind of habitat? He's googling. Oh, it's an aquatic. It's an aquatic thing. Um, it's kind of like it's kind of like a salamander. Actually, it kind of uh goes into what I was talking about when I fed it to my uh piranhas. I could have done that. Yeah, it's an amphibian. Metamorphous, you know, it was near extinction in 2020. If you really need to know, sir, it looks kind of like a Pokemon, you know, an axolotl does. Yeah, there it's it's kind of like the Baja California region of Mexico. If I remember, what <laughs> if I'm I remember about. right, like what I learned in <laughs> am, amphibian kingdom, school, I think it's, the kingdom is Animalia, yeah. phylum is yeah. uh, Chordata, yeah. class amphibia, yeah. order. <laughs> Trella family and <laughs> general stupid duck. See, I, I don't really understand what you're doing. Did you just say, I knew what it was. Did you just say Chupacabra? Why would you ask? <laughs> yeah, ax, axolotl, axolotl is my number one. They're they're cute. I want one. Uh, all right, how about you, Ski? Well, I mean, I'm on the same line as you. Just mine's way cooler. That's a giant salamander. Because they're like five feet long. For me, two feet, two by fishes. I mean, size, I, I'm, you know, size doesn't matter. What do we, why are we comparing the size of our things? Our reptiles? Yeah, I don't get it. Amphibians. You're weird. You're weird, Ski. Kingdom. Philo. Come on, guys. Genus. Yeah. Genus. Yeah. Uh, once from the chat, WCP says a bobcat. Is that an exotic animal? Yeah. I mean, is, is a it? bobcat just a wild cat? Yeah, it is. Like the Texas State bobcats are the same animal yeah. as the Arizona Northwestern wild cat. Yeah, they're right? just being yeah. specific. Yeah. But yeah, there's no there's wild cats there. in Chicago, right? Correct. Cougars? Highly doubtful. No. No, I see, know. cougars, pumas, those are all the same. Mountain lions, those are all the same thing. I think just. Cat amounts. Bobcats are is a bobcat. You know, it's Gerald. It's Gerald Wallace. Kitty cats. Oh. Yep. Uh, number one from mm. Booble is the hyacinth macaw. Macaw! 
It sounds like a bird. Yeah. And it's not real. Honorable mentions from the chat. Uh, mantis, shrimp, mountain lion, parrot, chinchilla. Uh, and Booble's honorable mention is... Booble's honorable mention is Luke Longley. It's pretty good. Luke Longley's got to die, too. He's Australian. He's Australian. <laughs> It's a perfect way to end the podcast. Uh, is Bill Wennington? Is he Australian too? Might as well be. He might as well I feel be. like all those tall no, white Bill Wennington. Come on, guys. All those tall white Chicago Bulls, they were all Australian. Yeah. yeah. It was a system. Will Purdue. Yep. If Will Purdue definitely not Australian. Yeah. <laughs> um all right. Movie on Sunday is Jaws. It is on Max. Bill Wennington, Canadian. Canadian, huh? Oh, I'll be damned. That's fine. Montreal, French Mont- Canadian. Oh, Montreal. Well, yeah. that's that makes it a little iffy. Winning, but... winning, winning. Bill, do they call him Bill? Bill winning Quebec. 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 El Nordi. Yeah, the Nordics. Joe Sakic. Yeah, Joe Sakic in the Nordics. Patrick Wong. Um, movie on Sunday is Jaws. <laughs> it is on Max. Watch it. Listen to us talk about it on Sunday. Uh, Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. 